showed what we can do beyond the open banking, actually verifying the payee during the payment flow or showing our enrichment capabilities. Hello, Lisa. How are you doing today? Great. It has been an amazing event so far, and we expect a couple of next days to bring even more. Fantastic. So we're day two of Finnovate Europe 2019. I believe today was the big day for your organization, which means the seven minutes, you know, like thrill. How did it go? It was quite amazing, I hope. Um, but we actually showed one of our new innovations in the space. Um, so Saltage, in essence, helps banks, lenders, fintechs to get the most of open banking and PSD2. For on one hand, we help companies to get access to account information, payment initiation, as well as be compliant. And on today's demo, we showed what we can do beyond the open banking, actually verifying the payee during the payment flow or showing our enrichment capabilities. So hopefully people will enjoy it. And all of that in seven minutes. Yes, everything wrapped up in seven minutes, quite straightforward demo, um, and we try to do our best job. Okay. I hope you'll be the best of show. Yes, uh, hopefully, but I believe that everyone here is trying to bring the best of them, so we will see. Um, but for us, it's more important to actually partner up and find new capabilities to work together here. Well, of course, um, I was just joking, but you're right. It's very good, actually. Very PC uh, response. Yeah. Uh, so we had Finovate in London. So uh, what made you believe that Finovate was the right investment in time and money for your organization now in uh, February 2019? I believe that Finnovate is one of those conferences where you go to show the first new product that you release. Uh, for us, this is the second time when we are participating at Finnovate. Last year brought us amazing new partnerships and we expect that this year will be continuing in the same direction. And Finnovate is for in London. It's kind of you show everything you do for the European markets. It gathers banks, fintechs and all the interesting people in the fintech industry. And we expect to have a lot of new interesting conversations afterwards. Great. So that was an exciting uh, event and very productive again. Uh, you talk about European markets. So can you tell us more about your, your key markets and your key focus for 2019 and beyond? Yeah, actually, right now we're present in 60 countries already. So we are the largest open banking provider on the European Union, but also um, we are covering Asia and Latin America as well. And for this year, we are mainly covering the European in terms of providing the PSD2 compliance, providing the open banking. And the next year to come, the big time for us would be um, Asia and the coverage in that region. Are we talking uh, Finnovate Asia next year, possibly? Yes, we expect so as well. Okay, awesome. Uh, what are the key challenges and I guess opportunities, uh, of course, uh, for Salt Edge in 2019? The key challenges are probably connecting to banks APIs um, because there are quite strict deadlines for them and providing a bank from the, uh, let's say, a huge new technology which you have to buy, provide free of charge, it's not an uh, easy one. And then, as we can see right now, there are just few APIs which actually work as we expect. So unfortunately, we still heavily need to rely on screen scrapers. So for this year, um, we the main challenge for us is to make sure that we already are able to connect all those APIs and provide the same services to our clients and new ones that are there on the market. That's a key challenge for 2019. Yes, it is. Um, especially because we believe that up to 40% of the entire market will be able to meet the deadlines. So that's unfortunate, but that's what is happening here now. Okay. Well, so again, congratulations for contributing uh, this year again uh, and best of luck for everything. And uh, hopefully we'll keep in touch and another video to check on your success uh, later this year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Lisa.